John the Baptist's real name was John Bar Zechariah, son of Zechariah. He was born around 5 BC and grew up in the hill country around Jerusalem. His father was a priest in the temple. His mother, Elizabeth, was the cousin or aunt of Mary, the mother of Jesus. Zechariah and Elizabeth had been waiting many years for a child, but they'd been unable to produce. John was an answer to their prayers and also Jewish expectations. Many Jews believed that the Elijah would come before the Christ. This idea is outlined in Malachi 3 and quoted in the Gospel of Matthew. And Jesus and the Gospel writers would later describe John as an Elijah type figure, preparing the way for the Lord. When the Gospel writers describe John, they say he wandered the Judean desert region and wore a garment of camel's hair and sandals. Even his appearance sounds very much like Elijah, who's described in 2 Kings 1 as a hairy man, probably describing his garment. John ate wild locusts and honey. The fact that John ate this kind of food illustrates the extreme poverty under which the forerunner of the Christ lived. John was seen as a prophet. He preached a message of judgment. Many people traveled from all over the country to hear him speak, including Simon Peter's brother, Andrew. John demanded that the people of Israel repent from their selfish ways and get ready for the coming Messiah and the judgment of God. As a sign of this repentance, he encouraged them to be baptised in the Jordan River. This ministry earned him the nickname John the Baptist. When Jesus came to be baptised, John declared that Jesus was the Lamb of God who would take away the sin of the world and then refused to baptise Jesus, saying that he should baptise John. However, Jesus insisted on being baptised since it identified him with the sinners he would soon represent on the cross. In time, John's preaching would get him into trouble with the local political ruler, Herod Antipas. Antipas divorced his wife and married his brother Philip's wife, Herodias. John spoke openly against this and condemned Herod Antipas for his actions so Herod had him thrown into prison. According to the ancient historian Josephus, John was imprisoned in the fortress of Machairus, east of the Dead Sea. The fortress was built around 103 BC. While in prison, John began to doubt whether Jesus was the Messiah. Jesus' action and ministry didn't seem to reflect the judgment of which John had preached. So he sent a delegation to Jesus to find out. Jesus told the delegation to report back to John all they saw. The blind see, the lame walk, lepers are cured, the dead are raised, and the good news is preached to the poor. Jesus was encouraging John that he was in fact the Messiah and that his first coming was one of mercy and his second coming would be one of judgment. John was eventually beheaded during Herod Antipas's birthday celebrations. At his party, Herod sat mesmerized by Herodias' daughter's dance. In a drunken stupor, he offered up half his kingdom to her. She consulted with her mother, who hated John the Baptist and his preaching against her marriage to Herod Antipas. 
So she told her daughter to ask for the head of John the Baptist. When Jesus heard the news that John had been killed, he withdrew and mourned privately. Later, Jesus declared that there was no one born of a woman greater than John. So significant was John's ministry that the Gospel writer Dr Luke wrote in the book of Acts that John still had disciples living in Ephesus long after his death. In the following centuries, churches were built near the Jordan River to remember John's ministry and indeed churches are still being built today. Even though John died 2,000 years ago, his message rings true for us today. Repent from your sin and be baptised into faith. Why, you may ask? Because Jesus the Messiah is coming again, and this time in judgement.